I'm Mitch. I'm in animal science. I'm a senior and I work part-time as a veterinary assistant. I started about two years ago. I didn't know much. I like kind of did sporadic dancing, but not very like kept with it. Didn't know like too much really dancing. I enjoy blue dances, blues dancing sometimes. Um, I know how to do a little bit of waltzing. It's also a lot of fun. It's really fun. Whenever like people ask me what Contra is, I tell them that it's square dancing, but with long lines and it's, you meet tons of people. It's really easy. They walk you through the lessons and it's a lot of fun. And you can just, you can go, you can get to throw your own flair in there anytime you want to. It's a great time. I have been going for two years now. Um, my good friend back home was like, hey, I learned a new dance. We have to go do it. And so I just went and loved it ever since. I love so many different things. It's so much fun. It's so like energy is like so high and everybody's like super um, having a great time and energetic. And then also it's a lot of fun to like dip girls. It's a lot of fun and twirling around. That's always a lot of fun. Um, that's what I love about it. My most memorable was um, I went up to Serenity Knoll in Tennessee and did Contrathon, which is 12 hours of contra dancing straight. And it was so much fun. It's, it's a lot and lots of dancing. Um, but I loved it so much. And I did every single dance within the 12 hours. I was exhausted like halfway through and I was like barely just going. But then like, I guess like the last three hours or something like that, I just got a full of energy and just kept going. And it was, it was so much fun. I loved that. It was, um, I'd recommend it to anybody. I love that one. I recommend it to everybody. Um, I've had family go and they've loved it. And I have friends, I've gotten friends into it. So I, I definitely recommend it now and I would definitely re recommend it to anybody. Two tips, bring water because you're going to die if you don't. And then I'd recommend bringing in like an extra shirt or bringing like a sweat rag or something like that because you're definitely going to get sweaty. But the water is necessary. <laughs> the cat shirt story. So um, the cat shirt came into being because uh, one of my good friends in high school, she bought it um, at a like a used store or something like that. And then my best friend at home stole it from her, which then I kind of acquired it from him. Um, I didn't really steal it. He just, he kind of put it in my bag and then like didn't ever get it back. So I, I kind of acquired stolen goods that were not his, but you know, it's, so that's how the check, um, cat shirt came to be. And then I have to wear it contra every weekend because I, wore, I didn't wear it one weekend and then everybody got mad. <laughs> So I have to wear it every weekend. So I guess you could say you were a cat player. Hey. Uh -huh. <laughs>